Hey everyone, the Viperian here and welcome back to another episode of the Pro Tips series where I'll be sharing tips and tricks on making your crash team racing experience a whole lot better. And in today's episode is gonna be about the shortcut at Hot Air Skyway. The shortcut that I'm referring to is the one on the screen currently. It's a really tricky one to pull off so I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how you can approach this shortcut easily. Also, just in case you're still having trouble with this air braking shortcut, I'm gonna be teaching you this as well with as much detail as I can, so remember to watch till the end. So without any further delay, let's move on to the shortcut. So most people are actually having difficulty with this shortcut as it's actually one of the trickiest one to pull off because you'll literally be flying through clouds rendering you blind. However, this shortcut is not really that hard if you know what you're doing. While you're approaching the shortcut, you want to aim to start drift boosting towards the right. Your first goal is to get at least 3 boosts, with the final boost preferably to be a perfect. Once you reach to this darkened wood section, 3 of your boosts should be completed. Now what you want to do is to take a leap of faith around here, just right after the dark wooden part of the track. After the jump, try not to get too carried away by turning too much to the right, or you'll just miss the track and fall off the map. In a split second, you'll be able to see the track once again, now you'll notice that you'll be facing at an odd angle. So what you want to do is to air brake to the right to steer yourself back onto the track. If you don't know how to air brake, I'll show you how to do it in the next minute. Now here's another clip of me doing the shortcut as well, but notice that I did everything correctly at the start, but I took the jump a little bit too aggressively and dangerously to the right, and it almost cost me to fly off the map. Depending on how much you practice, you get more and more confident in building up a pattern to make the jump easier for you. However, I suggest taking it slow as time passes, slowly move towards to the right until you reach the maximum distance that you feel comfortable with. Trust me, this is a risky and a very scary shortcut to take, but the advantage it gives you is really valuable, so take this shortcut whenever you feel like it. So now let's move on to this shortcut right here. All you have to do is to do a simple air brake to the left to succeed the jump. And it doesn't matter if you have blue fire or not, it will always work with any driving style. Now one thing to keep in mind is to actually understand the speed you're going at. I would recommend if you have blue fire, I would jump around the middle section or a little bit to the right side. Because you're going so fast, your turning radius is gonna be bigger. So you want to compensate that. Vice versa, if you're playing a slower driving style such as a balance or turn, you might want to initiate the jump slightly to the left side of the track, so you'll be able to get to the other side. Now to do an air brake, all you have to do is to jump, and this is where you have to press and hold 3 buttons at the same time until you reach the other side. So after the jump, hold the down and the left arrow key at the same time while also holding the square button. You also want to remember to let go of the acceleration button or this will simply not work. This will project your character into doing a hard left onto the opposite side. Remember to keep holding it until you feel like you've turned enough and immediately begin driving like normal again. So that about sums it up for Hot Air Skyway. Do subscribe if this helps you out as you'll be getting more tips and tricks like this one. As you may already know, this video is part of the Crash Team Racing Pro Tips series and previously I've made guides on the Dragonmine shortcut, defense shortcut at the Blizzard Bluff, air braking, drift boosting and many more. So if you want more, do click on the videos on the screen right now. This is the Viper signing off and I'll see you in the next one.